Hey guys, today I'm doing a tutorial on how to do makeup for black and white photography and this was an idea that I came up with after I got the True You book by Janet Jackson and um, if you're looking for a good book to read, this is actually a really good book but uh, it's more like a self-help book and that's not the reason why I bought it, it's just simply because I love Janet but if you are in the looks for a book like that, this is a really good one but the reason why I'm doing this tutorial, like I said, is because of her makeup and I think it's such an interesting idea uh, makeup for black and white photography because we have all taken black and white pictures whether it be with just you know our little cameras and stuff like that or actually had professional shots um, turned into black and white pictures. And the thing that's really cool about this makeup is that you can see how they really shadow and sculpt and contour the eyes and contour um, cheeks really uh, bring out the things that you want to be highlighted and I'm going to teach you how to do that today with just a couple little tips and tricks and when this video is edited it's going to be in black and white so that you can see me as I do my makeup along the way and you can tell um, what I'm really doing. Uh, right now I'm looking at myself in uh, color so it's going to be interesting. So yeah, I hope this video helps you guys out or it's just something cool to try or something to do if you have pictures coming up like if you have um, a little session coming up where you need to do your makeup for black and white photography such as like your engagement shots or um, just even wedding shots. I know they do a lot of black and white pictures so it's really cool to be able to um, sculpt your face. I'm going to get started now but before I do I want to just point out that I'm going to be using like a whole bunch of random products but feel free to use whatever you have. It's more about the colors that I'm using rather than the actual products. I've already applied a base to my eyes. I use the HD base from NYX. For the eyes, I'm probably going to be using mostly colors from the Naked palette, but I'm going to be using the color Virgin, and I'm going to be putting that all over my eyes. Lids. And you want to pack this color on. Next, I'm using Buck, and it's a darker brown shade, and it's similar to Espresso from MAC. And I'm just basically going to take that color and put it right into my crease. So right here, the hollow of my eye, and just do windshield wiper motion. And then you can go ahead with that same virgin color, the really light color. It's the lightest one from the whole palette. And you're going to want to put that right underneath your brow bone or on your brow bone just to bring out the highlight of your eye. And now just go ahead and put some more right near the tear duct and up. Next, you can take an eyelash curler, curl your lashes up, and then do a coat of mascara. And while I'm waiting for the mascara to dry, I'm just going to add a little bit more depth and contour to my eyes. So I'm taking that same brown color, Buck, and I'm going to put that into the corners of my eye, kind of creating that V shape and just bringing it up a little bit just to kind of lift my eye up. This is totally optional. You can just leave it like this. But I'm just going to bring my eye up a little bit and darken it. And you can just sweep a little bit of that darker brown color underneath your eyes if you want, but careful not to do too much because this might create a black eye illusion. So I'm going to go ahead with my angled eyeliner brush and black track fluid line and do my eyeliner as I normally would so you can use whatever eyeliner you'd like to do. Pencil works well for this look as well. So I did top and bottom lashes with mascara and then after um, I let them dry a couple minutes I did take the eyelash curler and curl them once more just to get that little bit of extra oomph for the look. And I'm going to move on to cheeks now and I actually just purchased this product a couple days ago from Target. It's the e.l.f. Uh, Shimmering Facial Whip in Lilac Petal and it's to highlight your cheeks and your lips and all that so it's going to be my first time using it so I, it will be yours as well so I will give it a try. I'm going to use it on the top of my cheeks. So I'm just using a little drop and I'm going to just pat that on to my cheeks right here and just kind of rub it in, blend it in with my fingers. And if you don't have something like this, you can use like a little bit of a shimmery eyeshadow that you have, like a lighter color, and just use that on the tops of your cheeks. Next, I'm taking this powder from MAC, and I don't think they carry it anymore, but if you have it, you can use this. If not, you can use a matte bronzer. Nothing with sparkle, because you don't really want um, sparkles can take away from the look. So it looks like this. This is the contour and this is the highlight powder. And for those of you that are wondering, it's called the Sculpt and Shape Powder. So what I'm going to do is I'm taking a contour brush. Sorry, I'm really itchy. So what I'm going to do is I'm taking a contour brush 
and I'm just getting a little bit of the darker color and I'm going to start to chisel my cheeks with this. So start right where the hollow of your cheek is and just brush down. So you get something that looks like that. And you want to keep doing it. Like I said, I am doing this in color, so it's probably not going to be as bright as it is right now for you guys, but you get the idea of what I'm doing. And it does make it easier to smile or do the really sucked in face. So whatever helps. Then I'm going to switch brushes. I'm using my 116 brush from MAC and I'm going to take my highlight powder now and I'm going to go right underneath where I put that darker color. So right here, I'm just going to brush this and brush it down. Next with that same palette, I'm going to take a brush that looks like this, it's just a blending brush, and I'm going to take some more of this dark color, and I'm going to do my nose now. So if you want to be able to slim out your nose, this is something that you're going to want to do. Um, if not, it's actually just a good tip to do anyways because you're going to make a highlight right here and that's going to really bring out the features of your face. Find where, um, basically where your eyebrow starts, right from there, and start working down and you just want to follow the shape of your nose. You don't want to use too much color here, just enough so that you can really shape it out and contour it and slenderize it. And when you are doing this as well, you want to keep in mind to make sure that this is um, even. You don't want it to be crooked or else you are really just giving yourself a crooked nose and that's kind of the opposite of the point of this. But you just want to take the color here and kind of just draw down as well. It kind of just brings out a highlight just on its own just by doing this. But with that said, I'm going to take the lighter color now, even just with the same brush, it doesn't really matter. So just take a little bit of color and go straight down your nose. So just like this. I'm just going back to cheeks now because I almost forgot about this. I'm just going to take a bronzer. This is my Body Shop bronzer and I'm just going to go ahead and add just a little bit of bronzer to the cheeks. I'm not going to be too concerned about blush for this look because that's really not going to show. Like the color, like if I use a pink, it's not going to show. I want to take that bronzer again and just add a little bit up here onto your forehead just as you would normally for if you're doing bronzer every day and you want to shade it how the sun would hit your face. So just a little bit on your forehead your temples, and your jawline. Next I'm going to be using a white eyeliner and I'm just going to do the tear ducts of my eyes. This is totally optional. This is just something that I think stands out if you do it. Um, it's just going to make your eyes appear bigger. So if that's what you're going for, this is a really good step for you. And then with that same white eyeliner, I'm going to use it on my Cupid's bow and just kind of just put it on here and where the lines are. And then just blend it out with your finger so it's not harsh lines. And then add a little bit more and just, this is basically gonna be a highlight of your lips. And I think that I'm gonna be going for darker lips. So right now you can tell this is kind of what a nude lip would look like. Um, you know, if this is the look you're going for, it's totally fine, but I'm gonna go for a little bit of a darker lip so you can tell the difference. So I'm just using a red lip liner or fuchsia, it's Fab Fuchsia from Wet n Wild. I'm just gonna do my lips and, or my lines, and then I'll show you with lipstick as well. Now I'm taking Wine Room from Wet n Wild, and I'm gonna do my lips. So red is a really harsh color and it is going to show up in the camera as being harsh. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tone it down a little bit. I'm going to take that white eyeliner again. I'm going to do just the center of my lips. And then I'm just going to add a little bit of gloss and I've learned that the best stuff for lip gloss for uh, black and white photography is the MAC lip gloss. Um, just the clear color. So I'm going to put a dab of that on the center of my lips. But beware, this is like the stickiest stuff ever and you know how I feel about sticky gloss but I'm gonna put a little bit of this just on the center of my lips. One more thing before I am finished is I'm gonna take some of this uh, light powder again, the highlight color, and I'm gonna do a little bit of my forehead and this is just to really make your forehead more prominent because we've already done some shading around here. So that is basically it to make up for black and white photography. Um, it's really fun just to play around with and see how it turns out when you are all contoured up. So I hope you guys find some use for this and you try it out. If you do, let me know how it works. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.